hi guys and welcome back to another video welcome back so we have a really fun and exciting video planned today we are in drum roll york york so we've done our research we've got some cultural things we've got some food we've got some drinks and we've got some fun activities planned for this day to show you the top things to do in york for a day trip yeah it's gonna be pretty good isn't it so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up and we'll get showing you around the city of york let's go is a very vibrant city known for its Roman roots and Viking past, which is very interesting. So we thought best way to start the day off is do an hour long walking tour around the old town and find out all about the history of York. So stop number one is Monk Bar, which is where we're headed it's not now. A pub. It's not a pub. To my disappointment. <laughs> Monk Bar is the largest and most ornate of the bars. It dates back from the early 14th century. It was a self-contained fortress with each floor capable of being defended. And on the front of the bar is an arch supporting a gallery, including murder holes through which missiles and boiling water could be rained down upon the attackers. Now, when I asked Gaz to explain Monk Bar to you in his own words, this is a riveting description I got from okay, him. Okay, so we're now at Monk Bar, which is not a pub, unfortunately. It is the biggest and best gate in York. Moving on. Next stop, York Minster. Cathedral. Minster. <laughs> okay, so we're now sat outside York Minster. Pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's one of the most impressive churches in Northern England. And it was actually one of the only churches. Catholic churches to not be knocked down by Henry VIII but you can tell that it's so old because of how like gothic it looks and like, it's just really impressive to look at from the outside, isn't it? Yeah, but if you want to go inside, you need to book tickets, which we haven't done. Yeah, so make sure you uh, book yeah, in advance. Yeah, we didn't know what time we'd be doing what, so. Yeah, make sure you book in advance, but it's definitely worth going inside. And I've seen on photos that it looks insane, but even then, looks the outside. Looks better outside. There's loads of places to sit on the outside and just chill and look at it as well, which is what we're doing now. But we're on to the next stop now, which is Stonegate. This is Stonegate. Thanks to that lovely stranger for introducing the next, next stop on our tour. So Stonegate is one of York's most popular historic streets. It was the main Roman road from the Roman bridge to the Minster and today holds beautiful buildings of medieval and Georgian architecture, which are home to many boutique shops. Now moving on to St. Helens Square, which had a right buzz about the place. I'm gonna do a couple more now, so I'll see if you can get it. Mixed in with a bit of my own style. heading to Shambles Street which is the best preserved medieval street in England and it is thought to have known to be inspiration for from Diagon Alley although JK Rowling denies this claim. So it's, it's going to take us back cool in time. Street, then. Yeah a pretty cool street. Welcome Harry to Diagon Alley. So we've just been and visited Shambles, which is really or cool. Or Diagon Alley. Or Diagon Alley, but then there's like the Shambles area. And that was actually so much better than I thought. It was so, obviously it's it's a medieval street, so it's meant to be old school, isn't it? That but had loads of little Harry Potter shops and stuff, didn't it? Yeah, so that was sick. And then we obviously went to the Shambles market for some food and I got a burrito bowl and you got a burrito. I did. But the food looked really nice there as well. So all in all, you could just stop there for hours, couldn't you really? Looking you at could. the little stalls and but getting food and all that. Now we're trying to find a boat 
boat. Yeah, we want to ride a boat, but we're hoping. There's, there's two types. There's the cruise, which is like 12 quid, but obviously you're not driving a big cruise cruise ship. Yeah. Or you can hire your own boat. Boat. I think it's like 40 quid, 45 quid. Yeah. So but just... we've not booked or anything, have we? <laughs> yeah. So standard us, we don't know whether you need to book or not, but we're just gonna give it a go and see if we can get on one. But... Uh, fingers are crossed. Yeah. I really want to drive a boat. This has been one of our best things we're looking forward to the most, wasn't it? It has. Let's so... uh, let's see. Let's see. I'm driving. And Gaz is driving, so he can't be in this shot. Uh, we paid £45 for one hour, and you get to essentially ride the boat up and down the river in York and see all the sights. So yeah. it's, it's pretty sick, I'm not going to lie. It would, be, it would be good if there's like six of you, because it's only like eight quid each. Yeah, I think, I think it seats up to eight, actually. But it's only 45 quid between you, so however many people you want to get in the boat, it's obviously a lot cheaper. But I highly recommend. Apparently, this did win the tourism awards in that 2019 as well. So it's definitely one of the first things we've done. Yeah, it's a fun attraction to do on the day. Obviously, it gets you out and about. You get to see some brilliant sights. And uh, so far, we're only halfway, but we're really enjoying it. Looks like you can get an ice cream from the ice cream truck behind this, which is pretty cool. So you can just stop on your boat, get an ice cream as you drive back down. That gas is a one one, which is very surprising. on that gas you were the driver yeah 10 out of 10 that was really good fun actually better than i expected it's just something different isn't it it's not every day you Get captain a vessel <laughs> on the open sea yeah it was like below deck we literally felt like we were on below deck didn't we it was i can imagine it's even nicer when it's sunnier or if you have a massive group of friends as well but we really enjoyed it would say if you come to york definitely worth the money isn't it pretty sick yeah i think next on the agenda is getting a, a bevoir jean mm. or what yeah, no, I'm only joking. Yeah, Gaz, you love yeah. a beer. <laughs> but I, reckon yeah. a, I reckon a quick beer. Quick beer and then probably get the train, but it's been really good, hasn't it? It has, it's been a good one. But if we don't speak to you after the drink, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. We hope you enjoyed See this you in a bit. city adventure. We're going to have more of these, as we've said. Yeah, so. you know what? I actually think York was better than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's got loads of culture, loads of fun things to do. Obviously, we've just scratched the Food. surface today. Food. Diagon Alley. Diagon Alley. So it's one to visit. I think Boats. it's one of the best cities, I think. Boats. So far, would you would Boats. you agree? Boats. Boats. Yes. Anyway, see you next week. <laughs>